Hello everyone, welcome to Gus Two Wheeling. How's everyone doing? Happy New Year. Hope you all had a uh, great holidays. New Year 2021. Coming through here through this uh, shopping area. They had a uh, ice sculpture show today. But it looks like it is cleaned up. Yeah, it would have been right here. Oh, stop sign. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, where would they have had it? I, we came here one year and it was like right around here in the middle. Hmm. I guess it's over. Ah, too late. But, uh, you know, they make those ice sculptures, you know, with the chainsaw and all that. Maybe it's over here in this other uh, parking section. I doubt it. They would have everything in the middle like they always do for little events. Lady test riding new bicycle there. Yeah. Yeah, it's done. Boy, what time is it? Oh, 3.30. Huh. Oh, well. I was at home. Wife and I walked the dog, and we had lunch, and she mentioned it. And as I was riding down here, I said, let me swing in here. Now, I'm assuming this guy's going left. No, he's going right. See? Good thing I stayed back. Yeah, they don't use turning signals much here in Northern Virginia. <laughs> Not bad today. It's like, uh, what is it? I think they said 45 degrees but then you got the real feel factor you know with the wind and everything so it's like 30 38 39 something like that but then when you're rolling on a dual sport with no windshield it's a lot colder than that <laughs> oh man so i hear that there's a Honda CRF 300L coming out, dual sport. Got on YouTube one day and on that homepage it says CRF 300L and it's like, wow. So I was checking out a couple videos and they've done some improvements and it's on uh, Honda's website as well on the power sports website but uh, it's got some pretty uh, you know the engines bigger a little bit more power the, the instrument cluster is different it's got oh it tells you what gear you're in uh, you got ABS if you want an ABS option which I think it was in the past too but I think now you uh, when you go off-road you can turn it off that way you can have that back wheel skid if you need to when you're on the dirt and grab or whatever. Seems pretty nice, so if you're getting ready to buy a CRF 250L, you might want to wait and see if the CRF 300L would be better. Yeah, so real excited about that CRF 300L coming out. Just to see it. Um, I don't know if I would get one. <laughs> this is still the CRF 250 is still a great bike too I mean yeah you're going to get more power and all that but I think it's uh, good enough for me middle aged guy like myself but 
if I have the opportunity, um, I will demo ride it just to see what it's like. And who knows? Maybe I might like it so much I'll get one. But for now, I mean, this is still fine. Happy with it. What else exciting is coming out? I've heard, uh, I've heard some rumors that there's like a smaller Africa twin coming out, like a 750 or an 850. I don't know if that's true. Maybe, it, you know, maybe be one of them things where it comes out for Asia and Europe, but it won't make it to the United States because, you know, there's a lot of motorcycles that don't make it here. To North America, so I don't know. What's that? A uh, hawk flying? <laughs> Pretty cool. But if you know if that is coming out, drop a comment down below. Hey, we're back here. This is the county water treatment plant. think I have any other exciting models usually around January or February you know they have the new motorcycle uh, the motorcycle show in DC Washington DC which I'm about 40 miles west of Washington DC here in Northern Virginia um, but I know they're not having it I mean everything's still shut down canceled whatever uh, the York vintage the vintage uh, motorcycle show in York, PA that I've gone to, that I've also done a video of, that that's at the end of January. That's been canceled. That's not happening. So that's one thing. So let's see what the rest of the year does. The tree fell down there. like this old barn here. Nice. I'll tell you, this bowling park, if you want to get into motorcycling and you want to own your skills. I mean, you could come here and ride. And nobody's here. Then again, it's winter time, <laughs> but it's not that bad with a jacket on, you know. I mean, I'm starting to get a little cold, but I'll be heading home soon. That's for sure. Yep. CRF 250L and a CRF 300L coming out, which looks very nice. <laughs> uh, I like it out here. So nice and quiet. Mm. Nobody's out here today, winter time. Fields all covered up. Got their winter blankets on them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, fun bike, CRF 250L. But uh, I'll try to remember to post a link down below of the Honda CRF 300L. And uh, y'all can check that out if y'all looking for a dual sport. Or if you like the 250 and there's any left over at the Honda dealership. I'm sure they'll be at a good price too but uh thank you all for watching click like on the video post any comments down below uh hey and consider clicking that subscribe button and the bell so you can get email notifications every time there's a new gus two wheeling video you all take care be safe happy 21 to you and your families and we'll catch you on the next video Bye now.